Although in the safety of the Bergson's house, the young cub was not yet free from danger. Exhaustion racked the animal's body, its chest heaving for even the smallest of breaths. The family believed several plants found deep in the nearby caves, combined together, could serve to remedy the situation. Uncle Ben can now upgrade and enhance your equipment. Uncle Ben reached out to the familiar warmth of the forge. If they were to reach the top of the water, their equipment need to be of the highest quality. Okay. Ooh, nice. So this is another upgrade system that you use with the gold dust? Yep, yeah, so the gold that we pick up while we're there, I uh, can upgrade our things. So upgrade the entire family's gears and tools, increasing their main attributes. Family's main attributes. Selected attributes description. Okay. Let's see. I guess it wants me to do armor up once. So that increases our maximum health by 12. But, so we can also do, so we can do, uh. Ooh, more swiftness. Okay, won't let me do anything else weird. Okay. Weird. Uh, so we can increase our damage by 1.5. Critical hit chance, critical hit damage. Those are locked though. Yeah, I really, okay, there we go. Decreases the effects of all movement hindering effects on the Bergsons. Uh, rage gain rate, chance to completely, completely dodge enemy attacks or movement speed. So I'm gonna put damage. I guess we'll do movement. Oh, no, movement Not speed money. is way too expensive. We'll do that another time. I like the idea of evasiveness, the dodge. Yeah, well, it saved your butt a couple of times. So I'm gonna check something real quick. <sighs> I'm gonna turn down the music a little bit. Just so it's less likely to interfere with the um, voice oh. acting. I'd okay. like to sleep down somewhere, somewhere. Nothing could quite match the calm that Linda felt when playing her violin. Its sublime sound, the perfect counter to the nerve-wracking uncertainty and chaos. Mm -hmm. Sleep down in the basement, but Mother, Mother won't, won't me. let me. Creepy stuff in the basement, perhaps? Oh, the heck did these spiders come from? On calm days such as these, Mary enjoys venturing into the nearby grove. The woodland creatures come out to lend her company. Oh. The smallest eat from her basket while she takes in the serenity of it all. Oh, are those little hedgehogs? Yep. Oh, and hedgehog mother. Anything else? Wait, did she say something about an atom? Dunno. Margaret had. Maybe, she, maybe her husband was Adam. We, Possibly. There's still we learn more about grandfather as we go along somehow. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's do this again. We have to start from the beginning? Yeah, so we start from the beginning, but we get to keep all of our statistic upgrades. Mm -hmm. Uh, Which, you I know... I really like the character design. Notice how they have the tiny little feet. Oh, do they? They do. Wonder finds it interesting in just how many games characters have really, really Weirdly tiny feet. Weirdly small feet, yeah. See, unspent skill points. I think we might have some. Uh, we'll find out once we get in the dungeon, because we can allocate them while, while we're playing. So, will we start from the beginning of the cave? Yeah. So, this is a rogue light. Effectively, you grind through levels until you can beat them, mm -hmm. and then you unlock the next one. So, we're back here again. So, I have one unspent skill point. Um... I see. And it's not until you reach level four that you'll be able to unlock the second tier. Yeah. The rage increases his armor. Oh. Max health of all family members. Mm. 
Y and hold A. I still really like the concept of a corruption fighting family. Yeah. Oh, it costs two skill points to upgrade either of these. That's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, no, this is a really cool concept for a game. Oh, can I go to my menu? Yeah. Though you I don't Oh, uh, you can get the the one in the bottom right. Okay. Sure. So that just decreases stamina use. I think that means you can move and shoot at the same time. Well, I already can, actually. Yeah, can you can you do it for a second? I just want to see how it works. Okay. Yeah, so as you do, you run out of stamina. I see. Your blue bar. But yeah, so this is this is a roguelite. Uh, the, the concept of it is... You know how in Diablo the levels were randomly generated and, like, you just run through them, like, maybe once? And then you kind of, like, you'd, you'd be done or you'd be underpowered so you go just run through it again. This kind of takes that and makes it a little bit more roguelite-y, so when you die you get sent What's back What's roguelite to the... versus roguelike? Uh, I'm trying to be specific because people get mad at the lack of distinction. So roguelike is uh, an old school. Watch oh, it. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh, it was a potion. Yep. Should I just grab it? Yeah, if you want to go grab it. Okay. A roguelite. A roguelite. Well, a roguelike is. Uh, did you ever see me play Dungeons of Dreadmore? Nah, you probably never even processed I was playing it. What do you mean by processed? What are you saying? I play so many video games. You probably don't even know half of them. Mm hmm. But I definitely heard the title. Okay, so dungeon, so classic roguelikes are dungeon crawlers, turn-based almost always. Uh, you you die, you start over from the very beginning. They tend to be a little bit long, Before fairly I merciless. Evolve, a game is of it... chance and memory. Oh, is it going to be? Or, nope. nope, different. Okay. So four. Four. Three or one. one. Nope, it's four three. Okay. Let's see. Four three. One two. No, no, no it's four, four three, three two, two one. one. <laughs> wow. That's weirdly lame. Hey. It's randomly generated, no, I, know. I suppose. It's kind of like when uh, we were playing that one game. Uh, oh, yeah. It was the Phoenix Wrights, like the special DLC trial. And that guy's code was just the same number. 77777. Hey, you're giving it away. I mean, ooh. Gift of life increased maximum health. Okay. Uh, let's see. But... Uh... Let's see, what was it? Okay, so, yeah, ro roguelikes, dungeon crawlers turn-based, usually a couple of different classes you can choose from, but not always. Uh, randomized loot, generally, uh, and monsters and dungeon layouts. Very procedurally generated. Very repetitive until you beat it. Um, and it's both up to player luck and uh, skill. Whereas roguelites are, it's a little bit of a brighter, brighter, broader, uh, term. Because, ultimately, like, too many games are roguelites now, and, uh, it's kind of hard keeping them straight. Personally, I don't mind it, it too much, but I know a lot of people get really, like, roguelike, roguelites. Uh, but so, what's a good example of a roguelike we've played together before? I don't know. Uh, I mean, Tower of Guns. There's also Sundered. That's a Metroidvania. Metroidvania. Yeah. But we died so many times and could upgrade. You're right. It had a very weird roguelite. Actually, you know, it has the same roguelite elements that this does, where the levels are procedurally generated, uh, though they follow kind of a similar layout system every single time. Uh, 
And then, yeah, you die. You start over from the beginning, but you upgrade your, your statistics every single time. So it's easier until you eventually win. Mm hmm Huh. Yeah, no, that's fair. Because I'm just thinking of multiplayer ones that we've encountered. Yeah. But, I don't know. Personally, I, I like the genre because it, it's kind of this... I'm gonna call it adaptive difficulty. So, if we had been really good, if I if I hadn't gotten clobbered by that one big guy, you can't spend that skill point yet, so don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. You need two before you can do the next one. Um, but if if I hadn't gotten clobbered by that big guy and we'd like held out, we might have actually been able to make it down to the boss and beat it on our first try. Though we may have still lost the harpy. Yeah, but like, oh well, that, that happens. But, we didn't. Instead, we got clobbered, we died, we start over. But, we start over with this slight upgrade. Wait, what is this? Nothing. It's just oh, a yeah, weird it's a ring, ring on the ground. And it's like, is that mm -hmm. important? The answer is, uh. uh. Yeah, roguelites have power increases between often. Meta progression is the term. Uh, whereas most roguelikes don't. And almost never will. Uh. The only meta progression you might see in a couple of them is, like, unlocking new things for the next time. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, but so, you know, in comparison, most ro roguelites, uh, you die, you start over, but every time you do, you get a slight power boost. Uh, so in this game, we upgraded my armor, by our, our armor, our weapons, our speed. Mm -hmm. And so, effectively, you just keep grinding away at these levels until you're powerful enough to, to actually just beat it. And it's kind of like JRPG stuff, but it's a little bit more on skill. Because, like, in Pokemon, yeah, you're just level 60, uh, and you just pr presumably... Uh, You'd always be outclassed by a level 70. Area that slows and damages enemies. I'm gonna snag it. Unless, say, you were the opposing type. But there, as far as I know, there aren't weaknesses. Neither of us are injured. Yeah, mm -hmm. but my socks make a lot of noise. Yeah, I'm have... like, are you farting constantly? No, no, it's so because we have a lot of this hardwood stuff on the first floor and I'm not used to homes with hardwood floors. I always feel like I have to walk around with either slippers or these. They're like the grippy socks. The halls of a Nea Dyer so mesmerizing in their magnificence were to be found at the end of a long road. And a hero never knows what is awaiting them at the end of a road. Moving is more important than reaching. They skip a whole thing about the breaking of fingers and stuff? Hammer strikes stone or something like that? I don't, I don't know. know. It it's looked like they had skipped a line. This is still beta. Kind of buggy. It's definitively better than it was, as in we can actually play this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, Pokemon so Mystery Dungeon mm -hmm. is a roguelike, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's somewhat, why it's the Mystery Dungeon. Yeah, it's an odd, odd but relatively traditional one. Eh, no, it's... It still has the meta progression because you're leveling up, but it's still pretty roguelike-y. But it's, you know, that's kind of the, the weird divider. But yeah, I prefer this sort of thing because, yeah, okay, so we get the statistical increase. And so the game always remains kind of at the same difficulty level. Or you can kind of customize it. The more you grind... The more you grind, the, uh, the easier the game's going to be. But if you're good enough at the game, you can just, like, waltz through to the ending. Uh, well, maybe not waltz through. In the darkest depths of the caves, further than a weary traveler dares to tread, lay the chamber of Anaya Dyer and her golem. The first step toward the mountain god. In the darkest depths oh, run. of the caves, further than a weary traveler Still a bit glitchy. <laughs> Played it a second time. Why would a goddess need a golem? I don't know. Maybe it's their protector. Maybe it's their, like, representative. 
really know. But yeah, so ultimately the answer is there's not a very good way of distinguishing rogue lights. Because at this point, people have used the, the definition I of a roguelite so much. I wonder if we can shoot this so fish. Much. I don't think so. I think it's just a cool environmental detail. That actually might be something dropping from above, like water falling. Yeah. Yes, yes, but I saw a fish leap out once. It just might only occur in specific situations or certain floors or who knows what. Yeah. But yeah, so rogue roguelikes, true roguelikes, are... Uh, are a very, like, strict thing. Honestly, I just call everything roguelike anyway, just because, like, it is so muddied at this point, but I realize that that's not fair. I think really the better term would just be true roguelike, and the really muddied ones would be roguelites. Like, I would call Tower of Guns a roguelike, whereas I call Sundered a roguelite, because one's a lot more faithful to the medium than the other. Hitting the little guy? Come on. <laughs> that spider spit his baby into the wall. I think it's free now. Uh, you can uh, grab the potion, by the way. Thanks. Yep, that baby is just gone. And then for the sake of... The little guys are fast. Yep. Yeah, honestly, just stay away from them. Stay behind you. Yeah. Like, let me go first. Especially because I've got, uh, I've got the damage zone. Oh, yeah. That you do. Admittedly, I can only use it once every 30 seconds, but that actually turns out to be pretty freaking often. Oh, there's a, a boss yep. critter. Yeah, just keep backing away. It's bringing out poison. Yep. Ow. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from him. You hit and run him. Okay, except I can't run that far. Oh, perfect. I like your goo. What about my goo? Ow. Okay, there we go. I wonder if I can increase my attack speed ever. That'd be nice. Yeah. I'd like to be able to increase the amount of times I can dodge or do damage while dodging. That'd be really cool. I think that might be the Book of Rhea or something. Once we get there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. big spider. Spider mama. Spider mama gets good. Well, okay, maybe a bit of a waste of goo. Uh, you can have it. Okay, sure. Now we're both in the green. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that there would be more things that we could directly upgrade. Uh, but I think part of it is also actually just leveling the different family members. Because mm -hmm. I think leveling John up uh, a sufficient amount actually makes it... Helps everyone else. Well, yeah, and I'm pretty sure if we went up your skill tree, we'd actually see something very similar. Uh, okay, this is a gold gate. Yep, so Adam. this is uh, totem that damages enemies from a distance. So that's yours. Okay, that'll be good. Yep. So honestly, every time we get into a fight, just press right bumper. Right bumper. And you'll drop a little shooty totem. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I guess to finish the thing about roguelite oh, versus roguelike... I just kind of tune out whenever people start arguing about it because both things kind of mean the same thing nowadays. It's like nonplussed. Uh, uh, <laughs> so that's the... Yeah, that was something I learned from Price yesterday at the uh, the party. That nonplussed, nonplussed is its own antonym now because of... Oh, yeah, there's nothing that way. We gotta go this way. Oh, what's that? Is there... Oh, the spider has been... Yeah, there's, that's there's what a you spider meant. stuck. It was knocked through the wall. Yeah, the uh, spider zone. mama pooped it out at there and... Uh, Yup. Untouchable. Ooh, that totem's nice. Yep. Yeah, our two totems together are dangerous. Uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, because yeah, I always thought that to be plus meant that you were 
paying attention. But yeah, nonplussed apparently also means that you you are paying attention ish. Ow. I was under the assumption that it was you're not amused. Oh, nonplussed for me always meant that they were like not. They were like slack jawed or something like that. I don't know. It was always loosely defined and poorly used, always. Mm hmm. And turns out, yeah, it's just been, let's see, American usage versus English usage. It's not even American usage versus English usage at this point. It's straight up just like, we've misused it collectively for so long that it's just wrong. Uh, let's see. This should be a permanent upgrade. Nope. Ooh, something's hidden in there. It's an event room. There's two potions up there. Yep. That'll be good. I will appreciate. Wow, lots of potions. Okay, so what is this? Oh, is that a special ingredient? Oh, this yeah. This mushroom was vital to any concoction with the purpose of healing. Well, oh, leave. Actually poisonous, any skilled brewmaker could extract the important properties without danger. Nice. We have something to help the puppy. Yep. We also have a chest here. Oh, undead. Re-dead. <laughs> no, the re-dead would have been... And then so trying to... I think, by the way, we get out. extra gemstones just by, like, progressing through the game. Because I think we started with two this time around. Which is kind of neat. Yeah. Okay, nothing this way. This is a game. Oh, remember, this is the arena challenge. Oh, that looks like a tentacle monster. Well, going for Not it. All in these caves are tentacle refugees. Sun. Some may just be traveling merchants stuck in a bind. Ow. Yeah, don't don't stand in one place for too long. Yep. There are tons of little goo piles crawling around. Oh, <laughs> there's a singular one left over. Oh, oh. yeah, there's a merchant there. Merch ah, wave two. Oh. But why would they capture as opposed to kill? What was his significance? Maybe they want to sacrifice him live? Oh, no, that's Maybe true. Maybe people are worth more? As opposed to animals. That makes sense. Yeah. The strange looking shopkeep dusts off his clothes and tips his hat. Stop by his shop later, he instructs, for all your adventure needs. What's that? Damaged enemies burn in fire. Uh. Does that replace my totem? No, no. Uh, it's a weapon mod, I think. Damaged enemy. Oh, damaged enemies. Can I. Do I want that? Uh, can I have it? Sure. Because I think I hit more enemies at once than you do. Sure. I don't know. In an arc. That yeah. Makes sense. That might not have been a good idea. We'll see how the boss goes. Because in retrospect, oh yeah, I got a skill point here. So, we'll have to check yours later. Uh, uh, mine is almost there. Do I want to upgrade my explosion move, my AoE, or my shield of thorns? Wait, so you're not going... Oh, that one. Heaven's I'm going story. to upgrade this. Hey, so that unlocks this one. Oh! So that's actually just a uh, permanent uh, unlock. So now that I have it. Right. Well, so it's because you spent four points. You have your individual character point, the one point there, and then the two points there. Oh, yeah. So all of these down this list are so passive bonuses. Eight points, 14 points, 20 points. Yeah. So that increases everybody's H max HP. This gives everybody those uh, heaven, uh, heaven strike runes for their various abilities. Uh... Which I think is that. I'm not entirely sure what that does. Maybe it just randomly triggers it. Uh, he will sh show up every five minutes to shield a fatal attack. Ooh. And uh, everybody has regen. Oh, that's cool. So at Ooh. skill level 20, every uh, every family member will just regen constantly. Regeneration's always that's useful. That's nice.
This was an extensive level, actually. Yeah, this is pretty big. So what was... What's the silver symbol? Is that just a door? This? This is the boss. Oh, okay. Let's see, what's the max players for this game? Four, I think. Really? Yeah, I think you can have up to four. You can? Oh. Yeah. When this game fully releases, I might, like, bug Moose and Joe about joining us. Uh... I don't know if this one over here will mess with mine. You want to try picking it? Up? You want to pick it up? Oh, is it? Just as drop, drop three, three gemstones. gemstones. So you might just get three gemstones. Oh, press down. Down. Yeah, on the D pad. Well, that's how that works. So that was a consumable item. Ah. All eight eyes. Well, didn't hear the narration Did for that he? one. <laughs> nope. It's because that. Yeah, I should have given you the fire. I'm just going to hang out in the thick of it. Whoa. You seem to be the only one capable of hitting it. Oh no, I can hit it. Babies. So many babies. Bad babies. Whoa, okay, she stomped me there. Burn for me. Ah. Yeah, you just focus on her. Okay. Okay. Couldn't help but they're little babies after me. Yeah, sorry. I was trying to go for the mamas. Ow! Mm hmm Whoa! I, I walked into that one. I'm down. Oh, this is bad. Okay. That's a long... Got you! Oh, now you... Oh, you're up. I'm up. Good uh, luck. No. And you're down. Aww. Aww. It's okay. We get to the spider boss and we're felled. One, one more and we're we're done, ski. Like, we we will definitely beat that on the next roll. Cause yeah, we got a fair bit of morph, a lot of gemstones, and I leveled up, and you're pretty you're pretty soon uh, to follow. I don't know. Somebody's... Oh, people are talking about the totem. I forgot completely about it. Yeah. Do we have any other characters unlocked, or is it just those two for now? Currently, these two. Mm -hmm. I know there's the fire child who was playable in the previous demo. Yeah, I was playing as her last time. I forget what she... Oh. Gonna focus on the boy. Kevin's he just seems like angst. to help all began when his elder brother Mark left the house. His brother was strong making any near him feel safe. But he left Kevin. Though Uncle Ben knew what his nephew needed, a focal point for his aspirations. I should have used the totem. Happens. Oh. What was the blue light? Oh, she wants to see the blue light too. Mm -hmm. Maybe grandmother will give her one. So let's just go for damage and health, probably. I mean, to some degree, I think I'm just going to... Continue upping our damage. Yeah. Because the more things we can one-shot, the easier this is going to get. Okay. Doesn't look like we have anything to interact with. If I were in Linda's place, I would befriend one of those spiders. All this talk of slimy, smelly creatures. Father probably means fish, but those are harmless. 